what's up youtube fam it's armani back again today with another video so in this video i will be showing you guys how i make cold processed soap i actually made three loaves this day but i will only be showing you guys how i create my um personalized customized order that someone um ordered from me she got a wholesale loaf of soap for 60 dollars. that's the cold process method the last batch of um, oils I showed you guys that looked kind of greenish, it had herbs in it. Those are from my Yanni bars. So here I'm showing you guys my mixture of oils and my light solution. They have to be around the same temperature, which is room temperature. Both of um, mine were around 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So here I'm just going to be mixing the oils to, you know, give them a good stir because they have been sitting, getting room temperature. Of course, the light solution, it gets really, really, really hot. It can get up to like over 200 degrees. So you have to be very careful with that. And you're supposed to wear long sleeves, gloves, and eye protective wear. So here you saw me pour my light solution in and mix it with my stick blender. And once you see like the oil start changing color and you see a trace in the oils, that's how you know that it mixed well. So here I will be dividing my um, mixture into different containers because I'm going to be doing four different colors in this soap. And you will see me pour in, um, I'm changing my gloves to make sure I sanitize my hands. I did wipe down the area before I started. So there I'm just showing you guys the colors that I'm using. She got the Fruit Loop fragrance um, for her soap loaf. So I tried to choose colors that were in Fruit Loops. And those sample um, packs I got of mica are from wholesale supplies plus now the purple i will say any purple mica that you use in soap when you're using cold processed soap it looks grayish when you mix it in but after you cut the soap and it sits for a couple days it does uh turn back to the purple so here i'm using a stick blender to blend in all of the mica in each color I, was, I had started to pour my fragrance in, but then I thought about it. Because when you pour the fragrance in cold processed soap, it makes, the, it makes the mixture get thicker. And you want it as loose as possible. When you, I'm doing the drop swirl method. So yeah, you want it as fluid as possible. So here you'll see me pouring in the fragrance oil. And then I'll be mixing it in, um, just stirring with the spatula. And you want to make sure that it's incorporated really well. Because you don't want specks. If it's not mixed well, you'll see, you'll find specks in your um, soap once it saponifies. So there I'm showing you how it looks grayish, but it's actually purple. And here you'll see me doing the drop swirl method. I'm just going color by color and just dropping it in. And I have OCD, you guys, so if I, I think I spilled um, the soap on the side of the soap mold a couple times, but you'll see me wipe it off because I can't work in a mess. I just can't do it. So look how pretty it is, you guys. I love cold processing. I can't talk the cold process method you get better swirls and you get better designs and it's like all the way natural and it's, it's great seeing you know like what you created from scratch I love it so here I'm scraping out all the purple and as you can see I did spill the soap there but you do see me
candy. So there I'm spraying um, alcohol on top. And that was it. I let it sit for two days in the mold. And here you see me wiping the counter down. I also wiped the, that's actually a cheese cutter, but it does the, it does the job. That was like $13 off of Amazon versus paying 100 or 150 for a soap cutter. I'm not there yet, y'all. So y'all see those three molds of soap that I did do that day. One loaf is Yanni Bars. The one I'm about to cut is, is my custom order. And the other one was my activated charcoal soap, which also has turmeric powder in it. So here I'm just unmolding it. And like I said, it, sit, it sat for two days. You guys, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, hit the like, write a comment. Please follow me on Instagram, all that. I am relaunching. I just relaunched. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, but I will be launched by the time I upload this video. And yeah, so I'm just cutting her soap into bars. I do have a package video on how I packaged her order. This is my first wholesale order. Shout out to her again. I was, she, she ordered this on my birthday, which I'm just so thankful and grateful for. And yeah, I'm just showing you guys how the designs, like I just love the cold process method because you just get a better design. Like I said, it's all natural. Like I really make this from scratch. Now, the only thing with cold process soap is suggested or recommended that it sits for four to six weeks before you use it. So all the water will be evaporated from the soap and you'll get a harder bar of soap. But I reduced the water amount in my in my soap recipe. So I, I pretty much let mine sit for three weeks. You can use these soaps after two days. But like I said, it's recommended that you wait a couple weeks. But it's totally up to you. I have used the bars after two two days and it does nothing like it's just a regular bar of soap. But yeah, you guys, if you're interested in your own custom loaf order, I do have that option on my website at jnrtreasures.com. So check me out. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'm just going to let me cut the rest of the soap the rest of the way and i hope you guys are staying safe and be blessed Oh, one more thing, you guys. I like I said, I do. Um, you guys can pick your loaves. When I, let me let me just explain that. When you when you want to do a custom order, you can pick your colors, your scent, when you want to ship to you, and all that. So I I um, explain all that on my website.